Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we are going to prove a certain property regarding the roots of polynomial equations. For natural numbers n, suppose that the equation x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to the power of n minus 2 plus so on plus a1 x plus a0 equals 0 has n roots alpha 1, alpha 2, so on, alpha n. Prove that at least one of these roots has an absolute value greater than or equal to absolute value of a n minus 1 over n. So this is our problem to solve, but before we go, note that all coefficients and all roots can be complex numbers. They are not just limited to real numbers. Of course, if you are not familiar with complex numbers, then you may think of this problem as if we are dealing with only real number coefficients and the case where the equation has n real roots. But the same proof applies to complex numbers as well, considering that complex numbers also have absolute values, just like real numbers. So let's start the proof. We are going to use the proof by contradiction. So let's deny the conclusion and assume that the absolute value of the root alpha 1 is less than the absolute value of coefficient a n minus 1 divided by n. And similarly, absolute value of root alpha 2 is less than the absolute value of a n minus 1 divided by n, and so on and absolute value of alpha n is less than absolute value of a n minus 1 divided by n. So this is the denial of the conclusion, which is that all roots have absolute values less than absolute value of a n minus 1 over n. Now we have to use the relation between roots and coefficients on the nth degree polynomial equation. It is really not that hard if you understand the basic principle. Since our equation has roots alpha 1, alpha 2, so on, alpha n, this equation can be also written as x minus alpha 1 times x minus alpha 2 times so on, up to x minus alpha n. The expansion of the right hand side becomes really lengthy real soon, but we can easily identify first few higher degree terms. Obviously, the highest degree term is x to the power of n, which comes from choosing x in every one of these factors. And as for x to the power of n minus 1 terms, we can deduce like this. If we choose minus alpha 1 from this factor and x from every other factor, then we have minus alpha 1 x to the power of n minus 1. Similarly, if we choose minus alpha 2 from this factor and x from every other factor, then we have minus alpha 2 x to the power of n minus 1. And we can go on and on. So we know that the term with degree n minus 1 is minus alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus plus alpha n x to the power of n minus 1. Therefore, comparing the coefficients of x to the power of n minus 1 on both sides, you can realize that a n minus 1 is equal to minus the sum of all roots alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus so on plus alpha n. Now let's take absolute values on both sides. Then we have absolute value of a n minus 1 is equal to absolute value of alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus so on and in the end we have alpha n minus 2 alpha n minus 1 and alpha n now we use this very famous inequality known as the triangle inequality which states that absolute value of a plus b is less than or equal to absolute value of a plus absolute value of b which also works for complex numbers then we can split this part and this part and write less than or equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus plus alpha n minus 2 plus alpha n minus 1 plus absolute value of alpha n. And if we use the triangle inequality again, 
then we can split this and this so we have less than or equal to absolute value of alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha n minus 2 plus absolute value of alpha n minus 1 plus absolute value of alpha n and we can go on and on so in the end we have absolute value of alpha 1 plus absolute value of alpha 2 plus absolute value of alpha n minus 1 plus absolute value of alpha n and here we use our initial assumption that all roots have absolute values less than absolute value of a n minus 1 over n which came from denying the conclusion then this thing is less than absolute value of coefficient a n minus 1 over n plus absolute value of coefficient a n minus 1 over n plus so on and since we have n terms in total this is equal to absolute value of a n minus 1 so we have absolute value of a n minus 1 is less than absolute value of a n minus 1 which is a contradiction therefore there exists at least one root whose absolute value is greater than or equal to absolute value of a n minus 1 divided by n and that's all for today's video Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in another video.